Thanks, Mike. This is our first video production assignment. We're going to demonstrate some basic techniques of video production techniques. We already learned to think of an image as a combination of the elements of design, line, color, shape, texture, and space. They're the building blocks of any visual design. The elements are purposely created by us by moving the subject or the camera. The principles of design are like tricks to make an image composition more interesting. They work great, especially if the viewer doesn't really notice. They just think it's a better video product. Principles are balance, framing, pattern, perspective, emphasis, and the rule of thirds. Check out how this door frame surrounds the me, the subject, the frame, the shot. It just looks better. All the principles of composition help you to create a more effective image. One that seems to have a purpose or visual unity. The bottom line is to know what your subject is, control your background, and decide how you will treat it. Here's another example of a principle of design called the rule of thirds. Another key feature in composing a good shot and lighting, a good composition, should include a well lit subject. Not like us, we look like Helen Keller. The best way to think of proper lighting is to think of mid morning sun falling on the subject's face. Not straight out, but at a 45 degree angle and put to the side. That way it's not in their eyes. It lights the side of my face and creates a shadow to make it look three dimensional. The main light is called the key light. The most important light is the fill light. It should fill in the shadow slightly. It is roughly 45 degrees to the other side of the key light and half as bright. The last light in a three point light system is the back light. It should be behind and above the subject, shining down you create a hollow or shimmer line on the top of the object. If you can't establish all three light sources, or at least find a key light, make sure the background is dark so the subject stands out. Video cameras in good quality and good ones are expensive. The best way to get clear good resolution is to zoom your camera all the way out. Move it physically as close to the subject as possible and really fill the screen with your subject. That will get best video out of any camera. The next subject is sound. Most videos are designed with a person talking as the subject. That means their voice is the most important part of the sound. For that reason, it should also stand out loud and clear from the background. The first step is making this happen is to choose a location which has the least amount of background noise. This scene is not a good choice because it's so loud. This is much better. I have to speak loud and clear to be heard, and most importantly, understood. If you don't have a microphone, the camera needs to be as close as possible to the sound to pick up good sound. Of course, it is very important to speak with feeling, enthusiasm, and not too fast. Seen in a video is shot separately and put back together later in the editing process. That brings up a very important point. Each time you shoot a new scene or a take, you should start and end with five seconds of what is called cutting time. Cutting time is five seconds of the subject looking into the camera, saying nothing, doing nothing, not laughing, or looking away. This allows for nice transitions from one scene to another. During <laughs> the cutting time is created by pressing the record button and then doing a silent five count before talking. Begin a cutting talk. All of these things add up to a good video production shoot. Follow these guidelines, write good scripts, and learn from your mistakes like Mike always has. And your productions will look great. Have a nice day. Bye. Party Rock L M F A O. Shake that. Shake that.